I will share some tips and tricks to remove and replace your sewage ejector pump, but you will find it incredible to witness the joy in this child's voice once you learn what all his family is going through. Good morning, Mr. Joe. <laughs> Good morning. How is everybody? Good. Everything's good. Okay. So, had y'all not been down here in a minute? It just looks like, like it flooded in there. Um, yeah, that, I don't want to bore you with a lot of details, but that thing with that red handle, uh -huh. um, is actually supposed to be on top of that black thing. So you can like take that red handle and turn it off. It's going to take me a minute to get some cleaning done in there. We'll have to like scrape the floor and get a starting point in there. Um, but I'll get you doctored up. It's just going to take, a, you know, a little while. I'm sorry. You're fine. It's nothing for you to be sorry about. It's all good. We're going to start by disassembling the PVC and removing the lid. Then, like I told the mom, the first step is to thoroughly clean out the can to make sure that nothing is left in there that could destroy your new pump. You want to come see too? I can see it now. Thank you. <laughs> I want you to see why I always remove and replace the check valve. This one was completely missing the disc. Of course, you know we would have to cut all this out anyway to put the ball valve and the check valve in their proper places. Yeah, well, what's up? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm in your house, so no, I know. you do anything you want. Is it okay if I went to the store for a few minutes? You're not going to be gone in like 15 or 20 minutes. Definitely not going to be gone in 15 or 20 minutes. I didn't think so. The mom would occasionally pop in and out down here and give me bits and pieces of the family circumstances, which there were three generations living under one roof. Okay, back to some plumbing. So as you see, if you've never done this before, the ball valve goes on top of the check valve. That way you can turn the ball valve off and service the check valve if need be. So now that we have the new pump out of the box, we're gonna carefully read this tag and do everything that it says. It is extremely important. I know there is very little chance of this happening, but I always like to zip tie the cord around the discharge pipe just to make absolute certain there's no way that it can get hung up in the float. I also like to flush a lot of water down the pipe that the can serves just to make sure there's nothing in there that also will destroy the pump. Let's just say this is the best time to get your cord fed through the top of the lid. You definitely don't want to get everything assembled and then discover that you have forgotten to do that. While we're finishing up here, I just want you to hear a little bit of some of the stories that she was telling me about that they're having to go through as a family. Not to mention that the basement flooded on top of all of this. And just imagine the little boy still had this to say. How is everybody? Good. Come in, baby. Everything's good. 